I'm going to show you how I made a set of course that looked like this using a graphics and weather mod called Pure and how you can too. The first thing we're going to want to do is find our set of course a root folder. The easiest way to find that is to go into Steam, go into the library and click on a set of course. A. Click on the manage icon over here, go down to properties and click on installed files on the left. Then we want to click on browse and now this has brought us to the a set of course a root folder. The next thing we want to do is click this up arrow, right click on the Assetto Corsa folder and we want to pin that to quick access. That means now that we've located it we don't have to go find it ever again and it makes it quicker and easier to add any mods you may want to add down the line. Next we need to go download a file extractor program. So we're going to search for 7-zip, click on download and you're going to need to get the correct version for your system. For me I'm going to get the 64-bit Windows XE file. We want to go ahead and install that so let's click on our downloads. Click on 7-zip and install. It's a very small program so it installs very quickly. The links are provided in the description for anything I'm going to be downloading in this video. Next we're going to go and download Content Manager. When you get to this page, scroll down to the bottom and click on download live version. If you do want the full version you can donate a couple of dollars through the support link there and you'll be emailed a key. But for the purposes of this video we're just going to go with the live version. So hit download on that, open the folder that it downloaded in and we're going to move it to the desktop. Next, you'll want to click on the Pure link that I have in the description. Once you do that, you'll be met with this page, and this is the page for the Pure graphics mod. However, Pure in and of itself doesn't do rain and some other effects, so if you want to have the option of rain, you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom and click on this link, below where it says rain comes not with Pure. Click that. And now one thing I will mention is, is that to have access to both of these mods, that's the Pure Graphics mod and the Custom Shaders Patch Preview mod that allows for rain and stuff like that. These are both mods on Patreon, so they do cost like €1.50 or $1.50 each, which is like $3 a month. But for me personally, it completely transforms the game and is well worth it. So anyway, if you want access to rain and some other features, you'll have to support this creator. And then come down to the bottom here and download the lights patch. And now that that's downloaded, we're going to move it out onto the desktop as well. And then we're going to go and download Pure itself. So if you go back to the link for Pure and scroll down to this where it says download links, you can choose one of these sources to download Pure from. I'm going to click Mega. That'll bring us to this page where you can hit download. This file is a few gigabytes, so you may be waiting a couple of minutes. Now that that's finished downloading, we want to put that out onto the desktop as well, just to make everything easy to find and just keep it all in one place. And now we're going to install Content Manager. To do that, right click on the zip file, go to Open With, and choose 7-Zip. Then we want to drag and drop Content Manager from 7-Zip onto the desktop which we've done over here. I'm going to move it back over here with everything else. Click on Content Manager and we want to double check that the Assetto Corsa root folder is correct. To do that, click on Change, come down to your C drive, find Steam, go down to Steam Apps, Common Assetto Corsa, and that is the correct root folder. Click OK and then click OK down here. You can click up here to see if there's any updates in case you didn't get the latest version like me. So I'm going to click Update and it does that very quickly. Okay, so now if you didn't become a patron of the custom shaders patch preview mod for the rain and stuff like that, this is what you're going to do. You're going to come over to settings, go to custom shaders patch and click this. Whatever the latest available version is, that's what you want to install. And now as you can see, the current shaders patch version that's installed is 0.2.6, which is the most up-to-date non-paid custom shaders patch at this time. And if you did become a patron and you have the custom shaders patch preview version, I'm going to show you what to do now. So you want to close content manager and then you want to right click the lights patch zip file, open with 7-zip, Select both of these files and extract. And we want to extract that to the Assetto Corsa root folder once again. So we're going to go find that. So for me, it's in this PC, on my C drive. It could be somewhere else for you. Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Assetto Corsa. And click OK. Click OK again. And then we want to say yes to all. Now to make sure that installed correctly, we want to click into Content Manager. And make sure it says preview here at the end if you have the paid version of Custom Shaders Patch. If not, like I said in the last step, yours will just say 0.2.6 or whatever version you are on. So now that we can see that that's installed correctly, we want to once again close Content Manager. Go to our Pure file, right click on that, open with 7-zip. Then we want to click into the Pure folder in the zip and we want to select these four folders. If you're on Windows, if you hold Control while you left click, you can select multiple at once. Then we want to go to extract. And once again, we're going to extract these files to our Assetto Corsa root folder. But this time, because you've already found that directory with 7-zip, 
it will come up if you hit this down arrow and you can just select it easily again. Press OK, press yes to all and wait for that to finish. Once that's done, you want to open Content Manager again and come back into Settings and the Custom Shaders Patch tab. Then we want to scroll down to Weather Effects, click that, and we want to set our weather style to either Pure LCS or Pure Gamma. I've been using Pure LCS and that's been working well for me, but well, feel free to experiment with Pure Gamma. Then we want to click on our Set of Corsa tab up here, go to Video on the left, and then over here under Post Processing, we want to select a filter. Now with Pure, we get multiple filters. These filters all have a distinct look and they change how the game looks quite a bit. So once again, this is something you'll probably want to experiment with and decide what your personal preference is. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna go with Pure. Then up the top of the screen here, we want to click the Drive tab, click on Weather here, and we want to select Pure as our weather controller. Now, just to check everything is working okay, we want to select Hot Lap, hit Go, and we're gonna jump into the game here. Judging by the weather that I'm getting at the moment, it's worked just fine, but let's hover your mouse over the right side here, click on All Apps, and then you want to press pure config. Now, if you do have any incorrect settings like I do here, the config app will tell you and try to fix them for you, which is very handy actually. So I'm gonna go try to fix wrong settings. I'm gonna click on that and it's fixed some of them, but not all of them. So I'd have to go back into content manager to fix them. But pure is working just fine anyway. So it's okay for now. In this window as well, you have your quality presets. So you can select low, medium, high, or very high, depending on you know what system you have and whether it's capable, what your graphics, preferences are. Also, it didn't come up for me there, but it will come up for you when you click the Pure Config app. It will ask what level of flashing effects do you want. So you can choose that yourself. That's once again a personal preference thing. I have already selected that before when I did a previous install, so that's why it didn't come up for me. But for now, we're going to close the Pure Config app and we're going to come once again over to All Apps and we're going to open Pure Planner. Now this opens the weather control part of it and you can basically do anything in here. It also opens up this table of contents, which is basically like a built-in manual that tells you what each mode and each feature in here does. So if I click on one of these, weather selection, for example, it'll basically give you an explanation on that feature and how to use it. But there's so much you can do with this. You know, if you come over to this scroller bar on the left, you can change the time of day, bring it to dusk, you can go to nighttime. If you click in this box, we can select what sort of weather we want. So right now it's set to tornado, but if I want it clear, I've now got nice clear weather. If I want rain, I can set that up. This is also a really cool feature. If you click on live, it'll replicate the live conditions at the track that you're racing at in the present moment, which I think is really cool. You can come over to timed here if you want to set it up so that each minute of real time, the weather changes to a type of weather of your choosing, you can do that. So we could go at four o'clock that we want it to be with no clouds. At 401, we want a heavy thunderstorm. You know, see, so can have a progress like that throughout the race. I won't go through everything on the Pure Planner scene as there is the manual there and it will probably explain it better than I could anyway, but there is a lot of features that are definitely worth familiarizing yourself with. For me, this makes the game look way better and is 100% worth the few euro a month. That few euro also helps support the modders who make this possible. You know, they put in a lot of time and effort into this and yeah, in my opinion, it really is worthwhile. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it or it helped you at all, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.